So right here in the master closet, it is half carpet, half concrete. That happened yesterday. I stepped on the floor, my sock got wet. So I had to investigate, I pulled all this up and there was a puddle of water here. On the other side of this wall, ignore the shelf, it came out of the master closet. There's a garden tub. The garden tub, it's either leaking when you drain the water out or it's leaking when you turn the water on. I don't know which, it don't really matter. It is update time. The tub is supposed to come out tonight. And it looks like it's gonna be a new toilet, new sink, new everything in here. The tub has been deleted. Now that pad of concrete's gotta come out. So when we built this house 20 years ago, I picked out two things in the whole house. One I don't remember, the other is the master bathroom tile floor color. Terracotta? Anyway, we're redoing the bathroom. It's time to take this tile out. Let's see how tough this tile is. This looks like a good place to start. Uh-oh. Like if you dropped a cast iron frying pan on it. It's pretty tough. So we're right here in the master bathroom doing a full redo of the whole bathroom. Anyway, we're doing it in phases. Phase one is gonna be the garden tub. Phase two is the shower. Phase three is the toilet. Phase four will be vanity. We're gonna put a new vanity top with a new sink. Anyway, it's time to start putting things back together. I brought in the nail gun. I'm gonna build a frame. We've already got the garden tub. We've already got the faucet. I still gotta buy some drain parts, but that's okay. The goal today is to get this frame built for the tub. So there is the basic frame. I'm gonna make a knee wall up here, then a three quarter piece of plywood, then a cement board then tile, then tub. Bathroom update, last night I put some extra bracing in under the plywood, then we put on the cement board, it's nailed in, and this is what the tile's gonna look like. I got that much of the wall covered, this morning I'm gonna do this wall and this wall, and then technically we can start with the tile. And chisel out, that's where the drain's gonna go, that's where the drain used to go, so we gotta make a trail through here. So where I'm at now, I'm working on the drain for the tub, I'll get it all lined up, ready to hook up, then I'll take the tub back out and we'll put a tile down. Then we'll put the tub in for the last time. I just said the jackhammer made that trench and it goes at this angle. So my pipes, they've got to go at that same angle. So I'm going to take the heat gun and heat this up here and we'll snake it over and line it up with that hole. I've got to glue that spot. That's the only thing i got left to the glue. And then there's some plumbers probably that goes around this. So I'm right in the middle of a master bathroom redo and I'm to the point now where I gotta put the tub in, I'm gonna put some mortar in for it to sit in place, I gotta put the drain, I get the faucet stuff, but before I do all that, I found this kit yesterday, it was on clearance, and I'm thinking this is 16 feet, if I was to go under the tub and wrap it around under there, there's a remote where you turn it on, you can set the remote up in the windowsill, 
Anyway, these are indoor outdoor. I put them up underneath the tub and let them shine through the tub while you're sitting there. You can turn off all the lights, turn these lights on. It would, I guess if the water was high enough, it could color your water for you. Anyway, the light comes through. So there is a Craftsman light shining through the tub. If we turn off these lights and we look at it, it shines through about that bright. If you could just imagine a ring of color all the way around the whole tub, I really feel like that's going to be cool. So the under the tub LED light strip is in place. I'm almost thinking about making this like uh, it's going to be shiplap, but leave like joints so the light could come through. We'll see about that. Anyway, on this remote, there's a thousand different combinations. I've not learned them all yet. You can make the lights dance. And then up here, you can just do solid colors, red. You want some purple. You want some yellow. Anyway, that's a one of a kind. I've never seen it before. Up next, I gotta put some mortar in here, get the tub set in place, then we'll see what it really looks like. Water is flowing for the first time through the new drain. I see no leaks. Now I'm gonna fill up the tub and let it push down into that mortar bed. So I just did some caulking around the tub. That set up nice, and for the first time, we have water. This is a final check for leaks. I see no drips, everything looks dry. I got the water running, I see no drips from the drain. The next step is to fill this trench in with spray foam. Right back here in the bathroom, and I feel like the bathtub portion of it, phase one, I think it's 99% done. The only thing that's got to be done is the front of this. That's going to be later on in the build. The floor is going to come, then some baseboard, then the front of that. Before all that happens, we're going to jump over to the shower, and the shower is a kit. i got to get this in today. That back wall's got to be spaced out. This back wall, this side wall's got to be spaced out. Cement board, cement board, cement board, and then the kit goes in. The drain goes in. The new faucet goes in. Then there's going to be tile around the top, tile in this column. That should be quicker than this area. By the way, I love those LED lights. To the first bathroom there last night, very cool. Anyway, uh, phase three, not even started yet. Already got the toilet, that should go quick. And then phase four, don't look at phase four. This is my workstation, don't even look at that. And some paintings already started, that's a good sign. And now a stud has to be added right here. The new stud has just been added. It's a quarter inch further out than the rest of these. These all have to be shimmed. There's a board on the back of that that this nails into. Now it's solid. Shim, 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 then we'll shim those. Those have to come out about three inches and these are about an inch and three quarters. That's our next step. So the drain pan is in place. The drain is in place. The walls have been furred out where they need to be. I've got to put the new faucet in. And as soon as this foam dries, it's almost there. We can come in with some cement board, some cement board, and some cement board. Then we can put it in the shower stall. So I'm right back in the shower and before we put the cement board on this wall, I've got to get the supply lines done. And what I'm doing, this wall had to come in a little bit. So I'm moving the valve over a little bit. This is the center. That's what we're shooting for. I had to use this. This was male going into female. This one was male. So I had to get this female, female adapter. That raised my shower up a little bit, which I like that. Anyway, this one simply gets cut off. It's not, it goes on that pipe. On the other side, I've got a 45 here. There'll be a 45 there. So I put these two screws in, that holds your cement board in place when you're getting ready to nail it. It shows you where the stud is and it also keeps the cement board from rubbing on your shower pan. So I had to add some wiring for the LED strips under the tub. So I've got my first shower panel. It's going to go on right back here. The first step is you mark a line plumb on that side an inch from the corner. Same thing on here. You measure the distance in between. Mine's 33. I just cut this one about an inch off this side and about an inch off that side. Now we're going to put glue on the back. I've got those little eighth inch spacers. They get on there and it just glues right into place. Now, 
So that first panel is all wedged in. I'm going to let that dry for the rest of the day. We got to get this one on. That's going to be quick and easy. And this side here, I got to drill one hole. The shower head is above. That'll be up in the tile section. So that's good news. So this is my last panel. I got to drill a hole there for the shower valve. That shower valve. Anyway, that one I put up with liquid nails. It is up there. It is not coming down. But when I first put it on, it wanted to kind of move around. This one I put on with Loctite. It's about twice the price, but you put it on, it don't move. I like that one a lot better. I don't think I really need these boards, but I already had them, so I put them on. Anyway, our next step, we're going to drill this hole, then we'll put the Loctite on, then we'll stick it in place. All of those liquid nails, they can go back to the store tomorrow. And I've been using a lot of Loctite, two tubes per panel. So there is some corner trim. It looks like this. It goes in the corners. This one is all done. There's five screws, five little white plugs. That's what it looks like when you're finished. I put silicone behind mine. I've got one more set to do. Then we're going to run silicone around the bottom. Then we got to get the handle on. we got to start running some tile. Phase two. The shower is pretty much done. I still have to put tile in. I have to put the door up. But I want to put the floor tile on first. I got to get the toilet out to put the floor tile down. So phase three starts now. So I still gotta clean the old mortar off of this area, but from about here going this way, it's ready for tile. And I'm gonna focus right here. This is what you're gonna see first when you come in. I gotta trim about an inch off of all of these to match that tile. It's a little bit deeper into the shower than it is to the tub. So I gotta cut a notch out of that one, cut a piece off of that one. Then we got this whole first five tiles in. Then I can start working this way, get a mortar down around that toilet flange, and then we'll get the grout in, then we'll get the toilet in. Toilet's kind of important. It is progress report time. I gotta clean the old mortar off here. I got a jackhammer ready. There's the shop vac. I've got about half the tile down. The tile's gonna dry for about two days. Then I gotta grout this area so we can get the toilet in. We'll get the baseboard in, get the new toilet in. There's gonna be a new toilet paper holder might be here. Anyway, uh, a lot of painting's been going on. There's a new mirror ready to go in. I gotta change out these light switches. I gotta change out the receptacle. We might keep this countertop, clean it up, change out the faucet, paint the vanity and we can go ahead and get the front on the tub enclosure and then on this wall it'll probably be tile from here down then this ship lap will come around the corner this will be tile from all the way up all the way back down again there's your progress report I gotta get on some uh, mask, glasses and ear protection get this cleaned up So this tile, this tile, and this tile going this way needs to be glued down. I'm going to go mix up the mud right now. It's about to get dark. Time to mix mud. So I came in last night after work. It was about seven o'clock. I started grouting. 
got it cleaned up. I like it. Still have to do that part up here by the door, but now at least we can get the toilet in. I gotta go to the store and get some baseboard. So up next, I'm going back to phase one. I'm gonna try to get the front of the tub finished. I've got that uh, cement board. I've got the little tiles. It's gonna be like a little tile baseboard. Then it's gonna be shiplap. And then over on phase three, there's paint going on the walls. I'm about to run the baseboard and get the toilet in place. So we just came back from the store, picked up a brand new toilet. The grout's dry, the caulk's dry, the paint is dry. It's time to get that toilet installed. I'm going to put you on time lapse. So I was right in the middle of working on the bathroom. I got this ship I put on. It's supposed to be painted. And I got this baseboard on. Even this plate's on the wall. Anyway, right in the middle of all this, the dryer died. Let me show you what I found out on the dryer. So this is the dryer and what happened. It ran great, but it wasn't making any heat. So I took it apart, did some testing. Got the heating element out of it. And if you look on it, it looks like it got really, really hot. It got so hot it cracked right there. And then there's the element. And then when on Amazon found this one, it had two days shipping. I think it was 35, might have been less. I don't really remember. It comes with these parts. We just gotta get that installed in here, put it all back together. It's just sitting in place. You can see a loose part here, the lids off of it. I'm gonna drag it out into the living room where there's plenty of room. Put this in, put it all back together. So the dryer is all back together. I've got it running. I can feel heat coming out of the hole. Mission accomplished, we can get back to the bathroom. It is quick bathroom update time. This little wall just got covered with shiplap and it got painted. I've got all the upper subway tiles on. The next step, I'm going to put this shower frame, shower door frame up here. Run the tile here. I've got some trim that goes there. Same thing on this side. Get the tile up. Bathroom update. There's my tile. There's my tile cutter. If we come around to the shower, I'm trying to finish up this little strip and that little strip. Every tile has to be cut so it takes a long time. This was night one after work. This was last night after work. This was night one after work. This was last night after work. That's how much I got done last night. Anyway, this is this morning. I'm going to try to finish this part. This part. A bit time in the bathroom. Last night, these front boards got painted. That looks a lot better. Phase one bathtub is completely finished. For the shower, which is phase two, there needs to be grout put in the tile. That's this morning. As soon as the grout's in, the shower door goes on. Then we put the shower head on. Then phase two will be done. Phase three is the toilet. It's been done. And then phase four, we bought paint for the uh, vanity. And we've still not decided what to do on the vanity top yet. That's to be announced. I also have doorknobs. And I've got an exhaust fan that needs to go in. And then I guess I need to paint the ceiling. And then this place is finished. All right, the shower. Yesterday I got the grout all finished. It turned out really nice. The next step, I want to get the shower door in. The bad thing is I lost the instructions. That's okay, we'll man it together. Then we gotta get all this plastic out of here, get the shower put together, and get this trim on, and we can check this off. So the light is all together, the light comes on, the fan comes on, I just got to put the cover on it, and that light bulb, I date my light bulbs, 
That's a 2016 bulb, that's pretty good. So we turn on the shower light, the fan comes on, and then I got a separate switch for this light. So it's been a few weeks, our floating shelves are now here. We've been stacking toilet paper on the back of the toilet. Anyway, there's two nails here. I think I can hide those with one of the shelves, get rid of the sign, put a shelf here, a shelf there. Let's get them installed. So my magnet says there is a stud here. We'll put one screw into a stud. That'll hold the bracket up, and the other one I'll use some kind of anchor. Let's go ahead and get it up there. So this side of the bracket is into a stud. That side will not reach, but I've got these anchors. These are really cool. You don't have to drill any holes. The anchor drills the hole for you. That's all there is to it. So there's two screws that go into the bracket that hold it into place. This one, I put them on top because the shelf's higher. This one, we're gonna go underneath there and there. So the floating shelves are now done. This bathroom is done and this video is now done. Thanks for watching. And just when you thought it was over, there is a lamp. It is a candle lamp. It is super cute.